Oops, there it is. 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 Oops, there it is.
All right. Man, we just wanted to see how far we can go with the time on the clock for future non-live games. So uh, that's where we are at now. Uh, okay, so this is a uh, independent game. Uh, this is a solitaire game. Uh, it's, I'm using uh, team name. Well, well, first of all, I'm using uh, current day players. Uh, this is the 2012 set, um, and I'm using uh, names that are no longer exist in Major League Baseball, like the Seattle Pilots and the Brooklyn Dodgers. Brooklyn moved to LA. We all know that, and Seattle Pilots only lasted one year, I believe in 1969 and then they moved on so we have teams like uh the the pilots and the philadelphia a's and the new york giants washington senators the florida marlins that are now the miami marlins and you you're getting the idea the st louis browns and so on and so forth so this is where we're at today. So today, um, uh, what I do differently too, I do a lot of things differently in my league play. Uh, one thing for sure, uh, nobody has a set home team. Everybody travels to all the ballparks around the league. So tonight, it's uh, or today is the Seattle Pilots and the Brooklyn Dodgers. Dodgers do they will be in Milwaukee? And the reason why I do this is because. Certain batters hit well in certain ballparks, and uh, you don't know what type of role or weather effects you're going to get uh, today in Milwaukee. Uh, we'll go with the uh, ballpark singles. Lefties will be a three, and for the righties, there will be an eight. That is one to eight and one to three lefty and righties. For the ballpark diamond shots, which are the home runs, for the lefties, it's one to 15, and for the righties, it's also one to 15. Okay, on the hold for the Seattle Pilots uh, base Steelers uh, between Bump Garner and Molina. Uh, Bump Garner is a plus three, Molina is a minus four. Uh, you always get the hold on a minus two at first base. So, all told uh, on the jump, uh, the first jump would be a minus three. Uh, for the Seattle Pilot, uh, Seattle Pilot Runners. So right off the bat, they get a minus three. So if Matt Holliday, which is not a great base dealer, but we use him anyway, he needs to get the jump on a seven, so he's one to 13. So if he's a one to 13, and the combination between hold, pitcher, and catcher is a minus three, he's a one to 10 on the jump off a seven. So we'll just go with that. Uh, more uh, in detail when the base runners are ready to go steal steal the base. Okay, um, on the mound for the uh, uh, Brooklyn Dodgers, it's going to be Chris Sales. Uh, Sales uh, on the year is three and one with a three point one two ERA, and on the bump for. The Seattle Pilots is going to be uh, Madison Bumgarner. Madison Bumgarner so far this year is one and three, with a four three nine ERA. So that's what we got here. The Dodgers take the field, and the Seattle Pilots, who are eleven and eighteen, five games back of the American League, and. Things are still wide open there. Uh, maybe a 500, less than a 500 team might even take the division. Who knows, but it's a very tight race in the American League. So uh, let's get on the way. We'll go defensively for the Dodgers. Left to right in the outfield is going to be Upton, Bourne, and Beltran. Uh, first to third will be Konerko, uh, Padoya. Musakis and Hardy and Posey will be the catcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers. For the Seattle Pilots leading off and playing left field will be Matt Holliday. Batting second and playing right field will be Nelson Cruz. Batting third and playing third base is going to be Mark Trombo. Batting fourth behind the plate, Yadier Molina. 
Batting fifth and playing shortstop would be Troy Tulawiski. Batting sixth as the designated hitter, Kendra Morales. Batting seventh and playing second base will be Omar Elfante. And batting eighth at first base will be Michael Young. In, in center field, batting ninth will be Ben Rivera. And that's your lineup for the Seattle Pilots. Okay, we're ready to get started. It's 6.36 p.m. on the West Coast. Yesterday, we had a quite an earthquake in the area. Uh, it was felt in Freehold. My wife and my sons uh, said, Dad, the whole house was shaking. Chandeliers were drop, dropping back and forth, and it lasted for some time. I was doing a funeral for my friend's funeral parlor, so where I was in Hansel, New Jersey, we didn't feel anything, so... Certain areas felt it, certain areas didn't. So we're only, from Hazlitt to Freehold, is only a 20 mile ride, I guess, a half an hour. So uh, uh, while we were in church, uh, I didn't feel anything. So, uh, and uh, I didn't hear anything either. Of course, normally with an earthquake, you hear the loud thundering sounds of what was going on. Anyway, I hope uh, people in New Jersey were safe. Uh, there was no really uh, any injuries or worse than that. Uh, a couple of houses uh, tilted against each other in Jersey City. Um, but other than that, there was no signs of injuries anywhere. So that's a good thing. And we could thank the Lord for uh, not making it any worse than what it is. Okay, so with that, uh, let's start the game. Uh, Matt Holiday will lead it off. He is a right-hand batter going against uh, Chris Sales. Uh, Holiday bat 311 on the season. 311 on the season, he has four homers and 14 RBIs. And Chris Sales looks in, gets signed by Posey. And he rocks, winds, and delivers with the first pitch. It is a 5-7 from the right side, and that's going to be lifted to right field. Carlos Beltran is on the, on the run towards the foul line, and he makes the catch for the first out here in the game. So, that'll take care of that. Fly ball, right field. One down. Uh, batting second, it's going to be Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz. Uh, played for the Texas Rangers in 2012, and he is back in 223 currently. He has no homers and six RBIs on the season. We are basically almost, we are past halfway through the season. It's a short season. It's a 48-game season with 13 teams. Nelson Cruz stands into the box, right hand out of one down. Sales looks, that's a foul tip. Sales looks in, gets the sign by Posey, and he delivers, trying to warm up the dice, and that's going to be a 3-8. 3-8 from, right si from the left side, 3-8, and that's in between a hot column on Nelson Cruz cards. He has a 7 on a double to left field, a double on center field, but he hits this ball to left field, and on the run is up to in towards, towards the warning track, and he makes the catch for the second out. And we have two down, so both batters for the Seattle Pilots that put the ball in the air. Here comes Mark Trombo. Mark Trombo is batting 254 on the season. He has six homers, 19 RBIs. Matt is a uh, Mark is a right hand batter. And Chris Sales looks in. And again, that's, that will count, subject to move. And the delivery, and it does. It's a 2-5. To Trombo, 2-5 on a, on a 17 from the left side, 2-5, and he's going to 2-5. Today, it's a swing and a miss, and Mark Trombo strikes out, and that's a 1-2-3 inning for Chris Sales here in Milwaukee. So we played one half inning, the Seattle Pilots nothing, and the Brooklyn Dodgers coming back. Uh, 
Okay, we are back, and it will be Madison Bumpkarner on the mound. As we told you, it was one and three with a four three nine ERA, and he's going to be looking at the Dodgers lineup. Justin Upton will be leading it off. Batting second will be Carlos Beltran. Batting third will be Buster Posey. Hitting cleanup will be Edwin Encarnacion. Batting fourth will be Paul Canerco. I'm sorry, batting fifth, Paul Canerco. Batting sixth will be J.J. Hardy. Batting seventh will be Boston's own Dustin Padoya. And batting eighth will be Mike Musakis. And Michael Bourne will be batting ninth this afternoon. So Madison Bumpkon finishes his warm-ups, and he'll be facing Justin Upton. Upton is a right-hand batter. Upton on the season is batting uh, 281, 5 homers, and 11 RBIs. This is a short, short season, 48 games. Winner takes all, two divisions, no playoffs. And Upton waiting for the pitch from Madison Bumpgarner. And Bumpgarner is ready, and he delivers. And that's going to be a 6-7. On a three, so six, seven on the three, six, seven. That's going to be our first X play of the game. So that's a ground ball to second base, and Iafanti is at 220. So he has to clear a one to two. His range is at 220. He has to clear a one to two for his range not to give up the base hit, and that's gonna be a nine, so he gets a G2 on a nine, and so it's a nine nine, and I, uh, Afanti moves towards his left, grabs it, snatches it, throws it to first to Young, and that's the first out for the Brooklyn Dodgers. The Brooklyn Dodgers come in at 16 and 11. They are fourth. Four games out, they're on a one-game win streak, and here comes Carlos Beltran, who's a switch hitter, batting 241, uh, four homies and 19 RBIs. Madison looks in from Molina, and he delivers, and that's going to be a six to nine. Uh, right side, 6-9, and that's going to be a split 1-5 to five on a triple, single the rest of the way. It's an 8, and that's a solid base hit for Carlos Beltran right into left field. Beltran makes the turn and holds there. That's a one-out single. So one out, Beltran. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a minus 3 on the hold. So Beltran's a 16 on his first jump, two through five, uh, minus the three because we have bump on as a plus three. Molina saves him there. He's a minus four, plus the hold is a minus six. So we got, uh, let me see if I got this right now. Hold on. Uh, we have minus two, uh, plus three, minus one. So it's a minus one, minus three. So it is a one to one to thirteen for Beltran on a two through five. Hmm. Uh, one to thirteen. I'm going for it. So they're gonna see if he can get the jump here. Madison, Madison Bumgarner does not have a good hold, obviously. He's a plus three. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh. Where are you? Hello? You got a stuck dice. They never made the tower. It's a two. Yeah. Yeah, man. Be quiet, please. Yes, it was. Hello? I thought I missed it. I thought the dice got caught in the dice tower. All right, where were we? All right, so um, he didn't get picked off, obviously. And we got an eight, so two through five. He does not get the jump. So we got a hold, which I didn't mark off here. And we got the right-hand batter, so the second baseman holding there. 
And okay, so he did not get the job. So bust, bust the posy if I didn't get it. He batted 390 on the season, five home and 17 out of the eyes. San Francisco, San Francisco against San Francisco. A lot of San Francisco's. And the pitch by Bump Garner to his teammate. But not in this case. And he goes six to eight. Oh, wait a minute. He could go hit and run on a B, but there's one out already, so I'm not going to try that. That's a 6-8 to uh, Posey. 6-8, to eight, uh, right-hand side, 6-8, to eight, and he's going to swing and a miss, and Posey strikes out, and Buster, Buster Bump Garner gets his first strikeout of the game, so that's two down. And here comes Edwin Incarcion. He's a right-hand batter. Passion batting 271, two homies, 10 RBIs. Bump Garner looks in, gets a sign by Molina, and delivers. And that's a 2 5 on a 19 from the right side, from the left side. That's a 2 5. And that ball is hit deep, way back there. Way back, Rivera and Holiday looking up, and that ball is out of here. Two run homer for Encacion. Two run homer for Edwin Encacion. He puts it directly out of this park on a line drive shot. And she is gone for a two run homer and a two nothing Brooklyn Dodger lead. Edwin and Cassion. Let's look at that again on the 2 5. And Cassion has just bopped his third home of the season. And Beltran will come in with him. That's, that's why he's batting fourth in Cassion. He is the DH. And it's a 2 0 Brooklyn lead. Nice shot, the 2 5. Let's look at it again. And yep, Holiday and Rivera come over. Rivera comes over, but they were looking at it, and she is gone. All right, so two outs, and Bump Garner just gave up a long ball. That's his ninth long ball of the year. And here comes Paul uh, Canerco. Canerco on the season is batting 258. Three homies and 16 RBIs. The delivery from Bump Garner to Canerco. And he gets a 5-9. On the right side, 5-9. That's a split chance for a home run, 1-10. to 10. It is a 10. Does he have the power to do it? He does. And this ball is gone. Back-to-back -back home runs. As Holiday and Rivera look at it again. And now it's a 3 nothing Brooklyn lead. Canerco circling the bigs. And it's now 3 to nothing Brooklyn. Here comes J.J. Hardy. He's a right-hand batter. J.J. is batting 195. Two homies and nine RBIs. So back to back home runs for the Brooklyn Dodgers here in the bottom of the first inning. Bump on a look in, foul tip. And he delivers, and that's going to be a 1 6 from the left side, and that's going to be a cold strike three, and Hardy goes down on strikes for the second strikeout for Bump Garner, but the inning comes to a close. Three runs the Brooklyn Dodgers picked up on back-to-back -back home runs by Incasion and Canerco, and the Brooklyn Dodgers lead it 3 nothing. We'll go to the second. Yeah, yeah. 
Adrian Molina will lead it off for the uh, Seattle Pilots here in the top second. Pilots come in 11 and 18, five games back. They are on a four game losing streak. And Molina is going to look to start it off for the Seattle Pilots here in the top of the second. Seattle looks in, gets the sign, and delivers. And he goes four to 10. On the right side, 410 is an X play to center field. The X play to center is born. He's a uh, one two, so he's gonna he's gonna make this. It's a three for an F two and an eight, and he makes the catch. Michael Bourne moving over towards his left, and he corrals it, and he makes the catch for the first out. One down, and here comes Troy Tulowitzki. Troy Tulowitzki's a right-hand batter. He has no homers and 11 RBIs on the season. He's batting 289. Sales looks in and gets the sign by Posey. He rocks and delivers. And he goes two to six. Two to six from the left side, and that's a split chance on a one to 18 home run. That's an eight, and she is gone. A uh, Tula Whiskey home run, his first of the year, and the balls are flying out into left center field. That's a goner for Troy Tula Whiskey, and he puts the Seattle Pilots on the board. Boy, Troy Tula Whiskey, first homer. And watch, he'll probably get hurt on his ex at bat. It's always accident prone, this guy. And anyway, here comes Kendry, Kendra's Romal. Romalis, Kendra, not a much playing time. He only had two at bats so far. He's coming off the bench. He's in, he's in the starting lineup tonight as a designated hitter. He is a switch hitter and he's batting from the right side. So the balls are flying out, as we know here in Milwaukee. No diamond shots, but they're flying out. So here we go. Chris Sales gets a 5'11. On a, on a nine, five eleven from the right side. Five eleven, it's going to be an X shot, X chance. Right field, Beltran's a four two. Four two, he has to clear his range of giving up a hit. One to four. Uh, oh, excuse me, he is a four, so it's one to an eleven. He has to clear an eleven here, off the twenty, and he does not. It's going to drop in towards the line, and Beltran cannot get the ball. So that's a seven, no error on the play. He finally picks it up in the corner and Kendra will roll in with a double. Four outfielders, four range outfielders are dangerous in your lineup. So anyway, uh, the pilots, uh, are on the run, uh, get a run. Now they got Morales in scoring position and they are gonna allow him to steal. He's only a, a one on the back number. You can only steal on the back number of your steal rate. Uh, so Omar is a 19 on the front, 12 on the back. But Kendra Morales, he's a one. So they're not gonna hold him. Anyway, uh, Omar Asante, Comes in, he's batting 167. He's a limited ball player also. He's a bench ball player. No homies and no RBIs. Batting 167 from the right side. Pilots are down by two. It's three to one. And the delivery is a one to seven on a seven. So one to seven from the left side. That's going to be an ohm. Uh, yes, there is because... Let's see, there's one out. Uh, one seven on that ohm. So it is a single, right? Yeah, the man on second could try to score. He is base running, is a nine. So that's a little, the outfield is on, is a one. And he was not held, so he is a one to nine. We're gonna hold him. I'm not gonna chance that. With a nine, one to nine runner, so that's a base hit for Afante. Now we got first and third, 
What is that? One seven. Yeah, they sent a field. So now we got first and third. Now Omar's an A runner. So he has a 19 on that jump. So do we want to stay out of the double play? Of course we do. So Michael Young. So Afante's going to be held, of course. And he's a right-hand batter, so the second baseman will take the throw. So Omar's a 1 to 19. And the hold is a minus five. So it's a one to 14. Uh, I got to go on this, no? Of course you do. It's part of the game. You steal when you can. So we're going to go with Omar trying to one to 14. Let's see if he can get the jump. So his jump number is a four and a five. So let's see. And he does not get the jump. So let's mark that as he does not get the jump. That's what I do, I circle it, and then I'm gonna go back on a review of the season on just on the stolen base uh, issue here. Anyway, uh, anyway, he does not get the jump. He's still on the hold. Michael Young will step in. He is a right-hand batter. Mike on uh, the season is back 317, one home and 15 on the ice. So Seattle's really putting the pressure on Chris Sale. He had a 3 0 lead coming into this inning. And now he's going to deliver the ball infield back. And this goes 3 to 4. 3 4, 3 4, lefty. 3 4. And that's a walk, and now we got bases loaded. And Chris Sales is now digging a hole for the Brooklyn Dodgers who are in contention in the National League. So, and here comes the pitching coach. He wants to have a few words with Chris Sales and Posey's gonna meet him at the mound. So that is number eight. So now we have, and that was a base hit number seven. <clears throat> Okay, so there's still one out, and the conversation has ended. The home plate umpire breaks that up. We got bases loaded, and here comes Ben Rivera. He is a left-hand batter, and now it's a lefty-on-lefty -lefty situation. Ben, so far this year, back 250, no homers, six RBIs. The Minnesota twin center fielder gets a look at sales, and Chris from the stretch delivers, and he's going to go 6-11 on this one. 6-11 on an 8, the left side, 6-11, fly ball to right field, Beltran moving back. That's going to be, that's going to be caught, and Morales is going to come home to score. Now there's a tag up play from second, and who is on second is Infante. He is a one, no, he is a one to 13 runner with the outfielders on minus two. That's Beltran, and he gets a plus two. So it's a one to 13. Uh, I'm gonna try it, why not? Case of pass ball, could tie this game up. So one to 13. He's going to go to third on the tag. Uh, 14 to 19, he stays at the base. And 20, he's a dead duck. So let's see if Beltran can nail him. And here comes the dice. And that's a 12. And he's going to tag up. So Fante goes to third. Young will hold at first. A sacked fly to right for Rivera. That scores a run. He goes to third on nine and eight. And Rivera gets an RBI, two down. And the batter will swing up to the top of the uh, lineup. And here comes Matt Holiday. Uh, young, uh, I don't know what Young is. Young is not a great base dealer. 
It's a 13 on the jump and a minus five, so you can forget about that, but it's gonna be held anyway, just in case of anything. Anyway, Matt Holliday is all for one. He flew out to right field his first time up. That's a foul tip. Yep, there is two down, and it's a three to two ball game. The Pilots jump right back into this. Pilots, are, as a team, are batting 257 as a team. And that will count. It's a five that hit the floor. I play everything. Uh, let me see. Uh, I give the 65 year old grunt. Anyway, we go four eight. Four to eight from the right side. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. And Matt Holiday strikes out. That'll be the second strikeout for Chris Sales, but it ends the inning, but not before the Pilots put two on the board. They get a home run by Tula Whiskey and a sack fly by Ben Rivera. They score a couple of runs here. No, two runs. Oh, uh, two runs on three hits. There were no errors and two men left on. We played one and a half here in Milwaukee and Seattle Pilots two and the Brooklyn Dodgers three. Yeah, good inning for pilots. Yeah, very good inning. Very good inning for the pilots. All right, bump gone uh, back on the bump where he belongs. Anyway, uh, we go to the bottom of the second inning. It's going to be Dustin Padoya, uh, Mike Masakis, and Michael Bourne here in the second inning. Excuse me. Anyway, bump on him. Trying to have a better inning than he did last inning, on the opening inning. Uh, here comes Bedoya. He's on a five game inning streak. And bump on him. Delivers the pitch. And that's a 2 8. 2 8 from the left side. And that's going to be a base hit up the middle for Bedoya. So it's a leadoff single for the Brooklyn Dodger. Dodgers have now four hits. So Bump on, uh, excuse me, Padoya is a 17 on the jump on a two through five. So it'll be a minus three with all the combination holes here. So minus three from 17, it's a 14. I'm gonna see if you can get the jump on the 14. And Padoya goes jump on a nine, and he does not get the jump. So his back number is a 12 if, if he decides to go. Uh, what are you doing, Mike? Get, get him in there. If he decides to go, if he decides to go, it turns into a minus five calculations on the jump. So that'd be five from 12 is a seven. I don't think so. Masakis is going to swing away here. He's a left-handed batter. And he has one home and 10 out of the guy. He's batting 262 on the season. And the delivery to him goes 1-8. One 1-8 eight. One eight on an 8 from the left side. 1-8. And he's going to strike out looking. He tried to hold his swing up, but the umpire, umpire, umpire says, no, you went around, and that's a second strikeout for Madison Bumgarner. So we have one out now, and this will bring up Michael Bourne. He's a left-handed batter. <clears throat> He's a left-handed batter. The hold is still on Padoya. Michael Bourne on the season is back 237, one homer and 11 RBIs. And the pitch to Mike goes 4-8. On a 7, 4-8 from the left side. 4-8 is a split chance. 1-15, to 15, ground ball to first base. The, other, the rest of the way, it's a 7. And it's going to get through the right side into right field for a base hit. 
that's a one star, so that's first and second now. Bedoya goes to second. On the nine. So we're one out, and the Brooklyn Dodgers got first and second now. And here we'll go to the top of the lineup. Uh, Justin uh, Upton grounded out his first time up, first and second. We're going to have a hold at second base, right hand batter, second baseman will hold him with one down. And Justin Upton <clears throat> waiting for the pitch from Madison. Here comes the delivery. And that's going to be a two, folks. It's a 4-7 from the right side, and that also is going to be a swing and a miss, and Upton goes out on strikeout. So that is the second of the inning, number three for Madison Bunk. Uh, maybe he's getting warmed up now, and here comes Carlos Beltran, his switch hitter. He'll bat from the right side. Beltran singled his first time up and scored. First and second, two, two outs now. I'm kind of trying to get out of this inning. And here comes the pitch. Ooh, that flips to a five, so that goes five nine. Five nine on a 15 from the left side. Five nine. Oh, we got something brewing here. Five nine from the left side. Split chance. One to ten is a home run. He does have the power. That's a 15, but that's going to be off the wall. Off the wall, Padoy is round the third. He's going to score. Michael Bourne is going to get the green light, and he's going to try to come in and score. 17 plus the three. Uh, with two outs, he gets a plus two. And for hold, it's a minus one. So one to 19. Don't even bother. He's going to score. Ooh, it's a 16. Send the lead runner. Stop the other runners from going. And Michael Bourne comes around. He scores. And the Dodgers with two outs. He got a lot of double out of that. Beltran is hot. Double with two RBIs. Michael Bourne with great speed comes all the way around from third base to get Beltran another RBI. That goes nine, and that goes nine on a two. And the Dodgers now lead it five to two. And it's going to be Buster Posey stepping to the batter's box. Buster Posey struck out, swinging his first time up. Second baseman will be holding it. Uh, Beltran, not going to go anywhere on a... Jump of 11, and then minus 5 from that. Not going to do it. Two down. Bump corner is getting rattled here. And the pitch. That'll go 1 to 7. 1 7 to the lefty. 1 7, and that's in between a lot. But it's going to be a ground ball to short. Hot. Uh, Tula Whiskey will pick it up. He throws the first base, and that'll end the inning. But the Dodgers do not go without scoring. They put two more on the board, and they leave one on three hits. We play two here in Milwaukee, and it's the Brooklyn Dodgers five, and the Seattle Pilots two. We'll be going to the third. How many hits? Three. I'm walking. Bumcon is not. He's not for long in this game, that's for sure. Not for long in this game. Chris Sales back on the butt. We go to the third inning, and it's going to be Nelson Cruz to lead it off for the Seattle Pilots. Nelson Cruz flew out to left field his first time up. And the pitch by Sales goes six to five. 
<clears throat> righty, 6-5 is going to be an X play to short. That's going to be JJ. He's a 1-7. And that's going to be a 15 for a G1. We add him up, and it's a 7. He makes it cleanly. He fires the first base to Canerco, and there's one down. So marking in your score cards, it's a 6-3. Here comes Mark Trumbo, right hand batter, struck out his first time on Mark. And the pitch, it goes two to five. Well, actually two to six. Two six from the lefty, two six round ball to the right side. Padoya towards his left, picks it, throws it, and he's out, and out number two. It's a four three. All right, so Chris Chris Sales with two quick outs here in the third inning. And the battle will be Yada and Molina. Molina flew out to center his first time up. And pitch to Yada and it goes 6 10. 6 10 uh, to the righty. 6 10 is an X play to third base, and that's going to be Musakis 1 to 17. And he goes to one, and oh, that's a G3, hashtag 10, 13. He bobbles it a little bit, Masakis. Now he recovers it. He throws it to first base, and the umpire calls him out on a close play, and Yadier does not believe it. So does the first base, um, uh, first base coach. Now we got an argument going down at the first base, and here comes uh, manager uh, Nedville. He's going to come out to argue, no, it was a bang-bang. It was a bang bang on Masakis throwing him out. He bobbled the ball for a half a second. Molina, not great speed. He's a one to eight, but he got down got down there quite quickly, and he made it a close play. So that'll take care of the pilots here in the third. They go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the third, and we'll be right back. I think Nedville just got thrown out of the game, and he did. He got Nedville is rejected. <clears throat> and they better watch it so Molina could get thrown out of the game. Now they're taking Molina away, and that's going to do it for the argument. As Nedville was just tossed. <clears throat> so we go to the bottom of the third inning, and Edwin and Cassione will step into the batter's box. Uh, Madison bump on and back on the bump. Madison first two innings not that good. Three runs in the first, two runs in the fifth, in the second. It's five to two. He has to stop the bleeding. Uh, Edwin and Cassione, two run homer, and his second uh, drop goes to a five eight. Um, Buck on his card from the right side, 5-8. Oh, he just missed that nine again. And that's going to be a cold strike three, and the umpire rings him up for a bump on a strikeout. That's another, that's four strikeouts for bump on a one down. Here comes Paul Canerco. Paul, uh, he also hit a home run. Paul, he hit his fourth of the season. And he's waiting for the pitch from Bob Garner. He looks in. And he delivers a 5-6. Uh, right side, 5-6 from the right side. It's chopped down to third base. Mark Trumbo picks it up on the hop. He fires across the diamond to Young, and that's the second out. It's a 5-3. to three. Two outs. Bob Garner... Two outs, uh, one, two, three, right here. Two outs and mark that. Two down and here comes J.J. Hardy. J.J. struck out looking his first time up. Bump on it, looks in and gets a sign by Molina, who's pretty upset that he thought he was safe at first base. That goes five deuce. Five deuce from the right side. Oh, and that's a diamond shot for Hardy. We got diamond shots. From a right-hand batter, 15, and that's a 16. Holy shit, he just missed it. Nice play by Holiday at the wall. He leaps up and he makes the catch. 40 out. Nice play by 
Matt Holiday, and that'll do it for the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers here in the third. That came close by Hardy. Hardy toddy, Hardy party. And he does have the power. So anyway, we play three. It is the Brooklyn Dodgers five and the Seattle Pilots two. We'll be right back. I need something to drink. Jesus. All right, uh, here comes Troy Tula Whiskey. Troy hit his first home run in the second inning to give the Pilots their first run of the game. Chris Sales looks in. Chris Sales, by the way, only gave up seven, so far seven homers this season. And Troy gets a one to nine. Uh, left side, 1-9, is a fly ball to left field. Upton moving towards the foul line, and he makes the catch for the first out, one down. One away, here comes Kendra Morales. Kendra, he doubled. He doubled in the second. And it's one for one in the game. Kendra, not much playing time this season. Go back from the right side, one down. And that's going to be a 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four to the left, uh, right side, 4-4, four, four. catcher X. Posey's a 2-4 on the catcher's X. And that's going to be a 6. And we'll add up a 9, no error. So we'll go PP and score it uh, until he pops up. In fair territory, and uh, Posey's calling for it, and he makes the catch for the out. So that'll be recorded as the second out of the inning. Two away, we're in the fourth inning here in Milwaukee. It is five to two in favor of the Brooklyn Dodgers. And here comes Alfante, who is one for one in the game. He singles his first time up. And the pitch to Afante goes 5-12. 5-12, uh, right side. 5-12 is the next play to the pitcher, and that's going to be Sales. He's a 4-8. And he has, his range has to clear a 4 not to give up the hit. Off the 20, and that's a 10. He does not. It's a G3. That goes 13. He fills it cleanly. He gives a little foot to Conderco, and that is it. It's a one, two, three inning, and that's that's Chris Sale's second second one, two, three inning of the game. We played three and a half here in Milwaukee, and the score remains: it's the Brooklyn Dodgers five and the Seattle Pilots two. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth in just a second. <clears throat> Anyway, we start the bottom of the fourth inning. Dustin Bedoya will stand in. Buster singled and scored his first time up. Bedoya. Boston Red Sox, second baseman, playing for the Brooklyn Dodgers in this tournament. And Madison Bumgarner, Bumgarner delivers the pitch, and that's going to be a 3-10 to Bedoya, 3-10. From the left side, 310 is a line out right to first base. Michael Young right there gives a little leap and grabs it in the web. And that's the first out of the inning. So that's one down. And here comes Mike Musakis, left hand batter. We got a lefty on lefty situation. Michael struck out looking his first time up. And here comes his pitch, and that's going to be a 110. 110 from the left side, and that's going to be hit to the right side. Afante going towards the hole, backhands it, turns, fires, got some. For four to three, two down. And it's going to be Michael Bourne, left handed batty. Michael singled and scored. Came all the way around on Beltran's double from first base to give the Brooklyn Dodgers a five run lead. He is one for one in the game. And Bumpgarner delivers his pitch and it goes 1 6. 
one six from the uh, left side, and that's going to be ball four. And Michael Michael walks out, works out a walk, a two out walk, and the next batter is going to be Justin Upton with two outs. It's going to be held. Gonna be held. Minus three on an 18 is a 15. I, I like to steal, so that's my thing. I love stealing. I love playing hit and run. I love stealing. You gotta get them at the scoring position. So with two outs, I'm gonna try it. If he doesn't make it, at least the top, uh, the line, uh, top of the lineup will lead it off in the fifth. So Mike needs a two through six for the jump. And here comes the jump, and that's a 10. He's not going to get the jump. Uh, we got a lot of that. <coughs> no jump. So we go back number on a 13. You're not going to do that. So <coughs> that'll be uh, an 8. That'll be like suicide. Anyway, Upton's going to swing away here. Bump on him, looks in, and he drops the delivery on him, 6 to 4. Uh, right side, sixth floor, X play to the shortstop, and it's going to be two of whiskey. He's at 228. His range has to clear a one and a two. And it's an eight, so he does that for G2. And the add ups uh, at 10. There is no, ed no error, and that's going to be a ground ball to too low. He wasn't covering. He'll fire the first base, and that'll do it, six to three. And that's uh, the end of the fourth. The score remains uh, five to two in favor of the Brooklyn Dodgers. We'll be right back. That was a walk, right? Yeah. Okay, we go to the fifth. Chris Sales is back on the. Uh, Bump, and he's going to face Michael Young, right hand batter. Mike uh, walked his first time up. Texas Ranger, uh, utility guy. He can play all the positions in the infield. And he's playing first base here today, and that's going to be a 6-7. 6, seven. six uh, to 7 righty. That's going to be an X play to second. Uh, Padoy is a 1 6. Uh, it's not going to give up anything on the 20. That's a G1. Oh, but there's a high number here. That's uh, 12 and 2. 5 is 17. Oh, in between everything. An E1 on a 16. E2 on an 18. He gets a 17. He bobbles it, picks it, fires it, and he gets uh, Michael Young at first base. On a four to three. And the pilots are just looking at the first base umpire. You know, they look pretty close again there. The fuck you doing out there? Anyway, Ben Rivera steps in. And now there's a little bit of chit chat. And now uh, the first base umpire holds up his arms. And now he's walking over towards the first base, uh, third base dugout. And now he's telling him to shut up. Well, I'll throw out all, I'll throw out more men. Anyway, we got one out, and Chris Sales ready to deliver his next pitch. And he delivers a 2 9. 2 9 uh, from the left side, and that's going to be chopped to the right side. And Padoya grabs it again, and he fires the first easy pickings. Two quick outs. Two outs for Chris Sales here in the fifth. You're watching uh, the Boston, Boston, watching the Brooklyn Dodgers and the Seattle Pilots here from Milwaukee. I don't know the name of the ballpark, I forget. Anyway, who gives a shit? Anyway, uh, two down, and here comes the top of the order. Matt Holiday is standing. Matt is over two, struck out his last time up. And the delivery goes to a 1-9. Uh, 
One nine from the left side, and that's going to be a uh, cold strike three. And Matt Holiday goes down for the second time looking. That is strikeout. Not too many for sales. I think that's three, and it is. But he ends the inning on that note. It's a one, two, three inning. That is now 10 in a row. Make it 11 in a row by Chris Sales. So he has calmed down. And we played five and a half here in Milwaukee. And the score remains. It's still 5-2 to two in favor of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Carlos Beltran will start off the uh, Brooklyn 5th. No ones. Start off the Brooklyn 5th here. Carlos is 2-2. Two for two. He, had a, he had a five game hit streak going on. So he'll continue with that. Madison Bumpmata looks in. And he's waiting for the side. Molina gives it to him. And here comes delivery. And that'll go six to five. Uh, right side, six, five. X play the short. So that'll be two of whiskey. As we said, 228. And that's going to be a 13 for G1, but it's a 16, and he boots it. Tulo moving towards the hole, grabbed it, and it fell out of his glove, and that's going to be an error. An E6 for Beltran. It's the lead runner now, and that's the first error of the game. So the pilots cannot be doing that. Uh, you got to be on a 16, and I'd like to steal. So two through five for the jump for Carlos Beltran. Buster Posey is up at the plate. And here comes the jump. Ooh. That could be a balk now. <laughs> uh, he didn't, uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, he did get the jump. Okay, he got the jump, but there's a balk. So we roll for the balk. And the balk is a one through three. three. He didn't get the balk. Now, does he still get the jump? No balk. Do we go with the but nah, I gotta I gotta look that up. That's that's something to look at. Yes indeed. So we'll hold up for a couple of minutes here as we go to the uh, the rule book. And I never, I never came across that. Or I don't come across that too many times. So anyway. Uh, let's look for stealing. Okay, uh, when rolling for the lead, it also roll the 20 die along with the two color die. If the 20 die roll is a 1, 3 to 11, discard the 20 die and continue with the normal, normal with the supplementary stealing system. If a steal is attempt, if a steal is attempted, you will need to roll the 20 die again. Yeah, let's go to number two. Okay, if the slider die roll is a two, there is a possible balk. Refer to the pitch balk rating at the top of the advanced side of the card and roll the 20 side again. If the number roll is less or equal to the balk rating, a balk has occurred. All runners advance one base. If the number roll is higher than the balk rating, the runner dies back safely, but the runner has failed to achieve a good lead. All right, so he did not get the lead because of the ball. Uh, supersedes on everything there, so there is no ball. He can't get it, so he's being held on. Buster Posey, uh, he drops down to a B hit run now because of the holding and everything else. So, uh, B on the hit and run. So, we're going to go hit and run here. Hit, run. 
Now keep in mind, you didn't get the job. So we go to the back number and just in case a BMP uh, happens on the uh, hit and run chart B. So that will be a number seven. So with the uh, three die, uh, we're gonna roll the three die, of course, but we're also gonna roll the 20 die. I play it as the pitcher pitching and there could be a possible uh, balk or pass ball or a wild pitch or whatever comes up. So let's try that. So we're gonna go for the hit and run here. And let's see, he's a B, so Carlos Beltran is, he's off to the races and Buster Posey's hit and run. Uh, we'll go to the five, so it's a five ten, so there's no hit and run. So we will use this nine in case we need it. So it is a hit and run, so the hit and run falls on the pitcher's side. So it's a five to ten. The 510 is a catcher X, so that excludes everything from this point on because it's a catcher X2. So we will roll for the catcher X2. The catcher X2 is a one and one. So this is Molina. I don't have to look at the chart because now what I have to do is see if I could duplicate that. So he hit run. No. Hold on a second. Hit run. Okay, now I got it. So I went five to 10. And that's the catch's X play. And I didn't roll for the X play yet. So we, we drop in and that goes two. So there could be a wild pitch here. So we go 14, no error. So let's see what the WG brings without reading it and scoring a, a wild pitch. And Beltran's gonna get down there anyway. And Posey's still going to bat. So it's a wild pitch by Madison Bumpgarner. And he'll be held by the second baseman, of course. So Buster Posey's going to swing away here. Nobody out. Now we got to run on second base. See all the strategy that goes on here? Yes, indeed. Anyway, Beltran looks in. Uh, excuse me, uh, Buster Posey waiting for Bumpgarner's teammate pitch. Uh, let's see. Buster's 0 for 2 against his teammate. And the pitch. And it goes 6-6. Uh, 6-6. Six to six. Six to six. Righty. 6-6. Uh, six six, fly ball to right field. Cruz going back. Could be a tag up on this one. Let's see. Beltran is a 1-13. Uh, minus three from the outfield is on. Um, mm, that's a little dangerous, but it's hit the right field. He's going to get a plus two on that. So it adds up to three plus two, 10, 12, uh, one to 12. He's going to be safe. Yes. Uh, 13 to 19, he's going to hold that base. Or 20, he's going to be thrown out. Here comes the throw by Beltran, and it is a 14. So, he's going to hold. Yeah, he's going to hold because he got the 14. So, Beltran stays and Posey flies out to right field for the first out. Okay, so Incarcion will step in. Incarcion home in his first at bat, struck out looking the second time at bat. And it hasn't been an even flow for Bump Garner in this game at all. Except for the fourth inning, but he did give up a war. Oh, third inning, he went one, two, three. But third out was a diamond shot, so, yeah. 
and that was a it was close. It could have been another run for uh, for Brooklyn. So anyway, he delivers the pitch, and that's going to be a four four. The 4-4 four, four from the left side, 4-4, four four, no, right side, 4-4. Four, four. My, my, excuse me, X play at third base. That's going to be Trombo, and this is dangerous right here because Trombo is, they have to get him into the lineup, but he's a third baseman with a 565. So he has to clear 1-8 to eight on the 20, but he is so loaded with errors. So this possibly could be an error. 13, so he gets a G3. Would it be destroyed by an error? And then, of course, it's an error booted by Trombo. Drops the ball, picks it up, has no play, and Beltran goes around him. And it's an E, E, E5 from the third baseman, Mark Trombo, second error for the Pilots, and that sets up E5. Sets up first and third. That's the second error of the game. What? That's Encarcion making things happen no matter what. So now we got first and third. All right, so Encarcion's going to be held. We know that. Conurco's a right-hand batter. Yes, indeed. So right here in the second baseman here. First and third for the Brooklyn Dodgers here in the fifth. They lead it 5-2 to two here in Milwaukee. Madison Bumpnada looks down, gets a sign by Molina. And I'm not ready to go yet. And Casillon is a 6 on an 18. Yes, let's try it. 6 on an 18, minus 3 is 1 to 15. And Casillon, let's see if he can get the jump on that 6. And he does not. So that'll take care of that. Now he drops from an 18 to a 6. Amazing. Anyway, here we go. Canerco looks in. Merco home it in the first inning for his fourth. Grounded out to third his last time up. Infield back to set up for the double play. And Bump Connor releases one. It goes six to seven on this one. Six seven drop on a 19 from the right side. Six seven. That's the next play to second base. Afanti's he's holding, so his range goes up one to a three from a two to the three. So he has to clear one four. On the range, and he does. It's a nine for a G3. One out. It looks like a run will score, and we're going to add up the 10. So he picks it cleanly. Ground ball to Fonte. He comes up with it. Uh, on to first for, to Canerco, and Beltran scores, which I thought he would be. And Casillon will get second base, and a run scores. So we'll mark it a four to three. Uh, Beltran scores. Uh, and uh, Casillon moves up to second base. It was, Conte got pulled to his left. He had to make a nice stop, a sli sliding stop, rather. And that's number five. And he only had one play to go to first base, but Brooklyn, Brooklyn gets a... Uh, a run out of it. Now the score is six to two in favor of Brooklyn. And here comes JJ uh, JJ Hardy, who missed a home run in the third inning on a diamond shot, 15, and he got a 16. Now, if I was playing Robin the home run, I think that comes into effect on that roll. But anyway, Madison Bumpgarner not having an easy day to say the least. Six runs already. And that goes five to four. Five four from the right side. Five four from the right side. X play to center field. So now Rivera is a one zero. So that's why it's nothing. I don't even know why I'm rolling the dice. Just for fucking aesthetics. And that's a 15. And he makes the catch. And the pilots are out of the inning. But not to say they do get one run. One run on a pair of errors by the Pilots. They got a little sloppy here in the fifth inning. Uh, no hits, but they do leave a man on. And the Dodgers lead it 6-2. to two. We'll be going to the sixth. We'll be back right after this. Two errors. <clears throat> you want to play sloppy? 
You're gonna get it scored on. Two hours. Alright, we go to fix the outs here. We go to the top of the sixth inning for the Seattle Pilots. The Pilots are down by four now. Chris Sales is smoothing. Oh, what hard he do? Oh, shit. There you go. Get uh, a fly ball center here. Yeah. All right. Let me take care of that. All right. So we're smoothing around here. Cruz will be batting. He's uh, 0 for 2 in the game. Uh, Hardy, uh, 1, 9, he, excuse me, Sale, 9, 10, 11 in a row, sat down by Sales as we go to the sixth inning. Uh, this is not endurance inning, you get seven. All right, so we go to the top of the sixth inning, six to two in favor of the Brooklyn Dodgers. And the pitch, and it goes to seven. 2-7, uh, left side, and that's going to be in between walks. It's a ground ball to the shortstop, picked up, picked up by J.J. Hardy. He fires across the diamond to Canerco, and that's the first out of the ball of the inning. So one down, and here comes Mark Trumbo. He made a bad error. You know, he's playing at a disadvantage, Mark. You know, they put him there just to get at-bats for him. Been there all season. He's played pretty well. When, when that when that six sixty five comes up or five sixty five, it's trouble. And uh, you know he's going to make errors, and they know that. So foul tip from Mark, and here comes the lefty sales, and he delivers a two to five, two to five uh, left side two five, and that's going to be a called strike three. And Mark Trombo goes down for the second time. Chris Sales picks up number four on the night, and he continues to roll. That's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 in a row. And here comes Yadier Molina. He's looking to break that up now. Two outs here in the sixth inning. A beautiful night here in Milwaukee. We are in the beginnings of August. Uh, I broke it down. Each team plays eight times a month to stretch it out into six months playing uh, playing uh, season. And it comes out to six, eight games a, a, a month, maybe a little more, I, I, I gotta look. Anyway, Molina keeps on rolling this dice. My arm is getting tired. And that's gonna go three to four. Three, four, uh, left side, three to four. That's lifted to right field, Carlos Beltram Moves in and makes the catch, and that's another one, two, three inning for Chris Sales and the Brooklyn Dodgers. We played six here in Milwaukee. It's the Pilots two and the Dodgers six. We'll go to the bottom of the six in just one moment. <clears throat> All right, we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. And Chris Sales has not given up a hit since the second inning. He gave up three that inning, and that is it. He shut them down. All right, with two out, uh, with nobody out, Padoya will step in. Padoya is one for two uh, in the game. And he's waiting for Bump Carter's pitch. We're in the bottom of the six here in Milwaukee. And the pitch to... Padoya goes four to six. Drops a four six on him. Four six from the right side, and that's going to be a strikeout. Uh, four six, swing and a miss, and Padoya misses that fastball, and that is strikeout number six for. Oh, really? Let me see. One, two. Three. Oh, screwed up. That's three. That's four. This is five. We screwed up on the strike house for bump on a five. And that's six. Okay. So we're squared away there. 
Anyway, Mike Wasakis, the left hand down and steps in. He is 0 for 2 in the ball game. It is five, it is six to two in favor of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Dodgers gotta win. Try to catch the Milwaukee Packers to lead the division. And the pitch is a one-six drop. One six from the left side. One six is also going to be a strikeout, and that's a call strike three. So Mazakis goes down on strikes for the second time. That's strikeout number seven for Bumgarner. Two quick outs, and here comes Michael Bourne. Michael Bourne is one for one. Walked his last time up. Bumgarner delivers a pitch on a two to ten. 2-10 uh, from the left side. That's going to be a ballpark. I think that's the first one of the game. A ballpark single is in effect. Left-hand batter is only a 3. That's a 20. He lines out to the second baseman, Avante, and the side is out. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Matt Bumpconner. We played 6 here in Milwaukee. It is the Brooklyn Dodgers 6 and the Seattle Pilots 2. We'll go to the 7th in just one second. Two. All right, Troy Tulowitzki has stepped in. Troy is one for two. He home it in the second inning. For sales. Is having a day. He is, that's 12, 13, 14 sat down in a row. Uh, we go to the seventh. This is an endurance inning, and it's so happy to be Madison Bump gone, a sixth inning endurance inning, and he's going to have some wiggle room to go to the seventh, possibly the eighth. That's the max he can go. Sales looks in to Troy Tudor Whiskey. And that's going to count. Of course, everything counts. Not unless it rolls underneath the table. Anyway, it's a 6-6 six, six for Troy Tula Whiskey. 6-6. Six, six. What do we got here on the 6-6 six, six from the right side? 1-19 to 19 split on a single. And that's a 4. That's going to be a Troy Tula Whiskey 7th inning base hit to center field. Ball returned by Michael Bourne. And that's a leadoff single for the Seattle Pilots. See if they can get back into this game. Nobody out. And here comes Kendra Morales now. Kendra is over two. He doubled in the second. He popped up to the catcher in his last half bat in the fourth inning. Uh, and sales, uh, that's the first hit, huh? Yeah, this is the first hit since the third. And sales delivers, and that's going to be a 5-5 five, five on a 7. Uh, he is a right-hand batter, 5-5, five, five, and that's trouble. That's a power home run, end home run, 1-10. to ten, Double the rest of the way, and that is a 7, and that ball is going, going. And she is gone. Everything to left center field here in Milwaukee tonight. A two-run homer. And now it's a 6-4 to four ball game in favor of Brooklyn. Kendra Morales. Goes yard, man. Goes yard. What am I doing? Why did I mark that in red? He gets his first of the year. And Tula Whiskey comes home with him. He is number six, six, DH. And Kendra Morales parks one. Gone goodbye. So Chris Sales is in big trouble now. He, had a, he was so perfect. He's in the seventh. He needs one more hit. He goes tied. So let's see what's going to happen here. And now it looks like the bench coach is... Uh, coming alive. Bench coaches are coming alive. Here comes uh, Afante. He is one for two in the ball game. Nobody out. Six to four now. Two run home by Kendra Morales. 
And that'll count, of course. And that's a 510. Oh, that could be trouble again. 510. From the right side, 510. Oh, no, it's shot down to third base and picked up by Masakis. He fires across, and that's the first out of the inning, 5-3. If you're marking your score and your scorecard. If you're not, oh, well, I don't blame you. Anyway, there's one down, and here comes Mike Young. Now it's, now it's closer to a ball game as we get into the later innings. Here comes Mike Young. He is 0-1 with a walk. He can get a base hit. He's a 300 hitter in this league. If he gets a base hit, he goes Chris Sale side. Let's see what happens. Here comes the pitch, and he drops a 2-7 on him. 2-7 from the left side. That's going to be a solid base hit up the middle and to center field. That's the third hit of the inning. And Chris Sale's in trouble as warm-ups are starting to go into the bullpen right now. Let's see if he gets an extra batter or not. So Michael Young is on, and Ben Rivera is going to be the batter, and nope, they're not going to wait. They're calling out for Monroe. Monroe was warming up, and he's going to come into the game now with a runner on first base. So we got a break in the action while we pencil in Carlos Monroe and Chris Sales. Just like that, went... Uh, Went pretty bad pretty quickly when he was rolling, ro rolling along so smoothly. And uh, it's time for change. So we'll take a break. While we do that, we'll pencil Morel, uh, Carlos Monroe, Monroe in. And uh, we'll be back shortly. Just uh, hold on. Monroe. Uh, Mo. He goes righty. Uh, what's in the 503 on the year? And he goes one, one, and two on the season. So we got that in. One out. Uh, Mayor, yeah, you're on the air, Mayor. Um, ben Rivera is going to be the batter, I think. Unless they're going to make a move here. Well, Chris Sales in the dugout, he's not that happy right now. You know, It just fell apart so quickly from him when he got 14 in a row in this game. Well, anyway, we got a runner on first, a tying run to the plate, and Ben Rivera, nobody out, uh, one out, uh, infield back, and let's see, Carlos Mano, uh, we got to do his, uh, what's his hold, he's a plus two, so we got to do that, so he is now a plus two. Pitcher and catcher, uh, let me say, no. Hold on a second. Sales is out. Hold on a They mark him on the wrong side. Uh, no. He goes plus two. All right. So he's out. So it's a minus one. For all base dealers. Why do I have that that way? Because you got that wrong. Yeah, definitely wrong. No, you got it right. Okay, so. So what do we got here? Uh, front number. All right, so the front number now goes, um, uh, let me say, uh, minus one. Goes minus one. And the back number 
now goes um, <clears throat> uh, let me see uh, plus one and what is it? minus four minus five plus that so it's a minus minus three Let me see if I got this right. Two, two, knocks that off, plus the one. Okay, so now the hold with Mano in the game goes to a minus one. Because he's a plus two. Posey is a minus one in the hold. So here we go. So Young is in no position to steal, is he? 13. 13, he's gonna get uh, minus one, so he goes to 12. And uh, two runs down, one out. Not taking the bat out of Rivera's hands. Ben Rivera. Looks in, waiting for Manoa's first pitch of the game, and here we go. Rivera is 0 for 1, he grounded out his last time up. Infield back, and here comes the pitch, and the drop goes six to seven. But we got a wild pitch roll. I, I moved that. It was a hanger, but it was a one, and I hit it. So one on a wild pitch is a seven. Let's see. This is big. This is huge. One to seven, and that's a nine, so there's no wild pitch. Okay, so we'll use the six, seven. Six seven from the left side, and that's gonna be a ground ball to damn it, wrong pen. Ground ball to Bedoya. He's a one six. This is almost like instant double play time. Let's see. Looks like a routine. That goes nineteen, and that's gonna do it. Nineteen out of seven. No error there. So mark it in your scorecard. Four six to three, and the inning comes to an end. Four, six, three, and that's what they needed from Mano. He gets a four, six there, inning over, but they do pick up two. They do pick up two to make this a ball game and three hits. They knock out Chris Sales of the game. So with that, Madison Bumpgarner still here. I didn't think he was going to last, but he is. And we go to the top of the order with the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers. Two on three. Uh, so we go dust, uh, just, uh, Justin Upton. Nobody out. Justin is 0 for 3 in the game. Madison Bumpgarner. He went a clean six for endurance. So let's see what happens here. Uh, that's going to be a 5-6. Five, 5-6 six. Five, six on the drop from the right side. 5-6. Chop down to third base. Trumbo picks it up. Fires across the diamond, and that's the first out here in the seventh inning. So one away. And here comes Carlos Beltran. Carlos Beltran has been on base all three times. He single, doubled, reached on an error. He scored twice out of that, out of that, and he picked up two RBIs on that double off Bump Garner. So we got one out. Oh, Beltran really seeing Madison Bump Garner very well here this afternoon. And the pitch, he goes 5-10. Five, 5-10 five, ten. Five, ten from the right side, and that's going to be an X play to the catcher. That's Molina. He's a 1-1. One, one. And it's a three. And 11 12, no error there. So let's see. It's tapped out in front of the mound, uh, in front of him. He picks it up, and Molina fires the first base, and he nails him at first base for a 2 3 play. Two quick outs. And the battle will be Dustin Padoya. Padoya has a six game hitting streak, he's 0 for 3 in this game. Two down for the Brooklyn Dodger, San Francisco Giant, 2012 card. And the pitch by Madison from his 
teammate. He goes 6'11 on that one. 6'11 from the uh, right side. 6'11, and that's going to be a swing and a miss. And Posey strikes out for the second time in the game. And all of a sudden, Madison Bumpgarner has a new reprieve on life. That is strikeout number eight. That's a one, two, three inning here in the seventh. We'll go to the eighth. We got a six to four ball game in favor of the Brooklyn Dodgers. We'll be back in a few seconds. Let's see what the pilots could put together here in the top of the eighth inning. Carlos Mono is looking for the save here. Here comes in Cassione. Cassione is one for three in the ball game. Oh, excuse me, it's Matt. No, oh, what am I doing? Flip it, Mike. It's uh, Matt Holiday. No runs. No runs, no hits. That was a one, two, three. Mano, he'll face the top of the order here. Here comes Matt Holiday. He has an 11-game hit streak. And if he doesn't get it at this at bad, he may have that account. He might be losing this 11-game hit streak. He drops in on a 3-7. See if Matt could get it started for the Seattle Pilots here in the eighth inning. 3-7 from the right side. Oh, that's a ground ball short. Picked up by Hardy. Comes in, he fires in, and that's one down. Score it at 6-3, and here comes Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz is 0 for 3. Nelson's a right hand out, of course. And 0 for 3, he's flying out to left, grounded out to short, grounded out to short. Seattle needs a run base runner to get the tying run to the plate. That account. And subject to change, it's not. It's going to be a 110 or Beltran's card from the right side. 110, fly ball to right field, Beltran. Excuse me, Nelson Cruz, fly ball to right field. Beltran going back towards the warning track. In the corner, makes the catch. For the second out. Two down. And here comes Mark Trumbo. Trumbo is 0 for 3 in the game. Struck out his last time up. And here comes the pitch from Carlos. And that goes 3-10. 310, uh, right side. 310 is tapped right back to the mound. Carlos Mano flips it under him, and that is it for the Pilots here in the eighth. We are seven and a half in the books, and it is the Brooklyn Dodgers six, and the Seattle Pilots four. We'll be right back right after this. Don't ask me why they say that. I just say it. I don't know why. Anyway. And Cassione will step in for the Brooklyn Dodgers here in the eighth. Uh, Carlos uh, Homan in the first inning for his third of the year struck out and reached on an error by Trumbo at third base. And Cassione looks in. Madison Bumgarner still around. Didn't think he was going to make the fifth inning, let alone he's in the eighth. He had two, one, two, three innings in the sixth. That was the start of his endurance inning. And goes one, two, three in the seventh. And he has now eight in a row. Sat down Brooklyn Dodgers. And the delivery and the pitch goes four to five. Right side, four, five. Fly ball to center field. Ben Rivera uh, moving back, to, moving back. Back pedals, makes the catch. And that'll be the first out here in the eighth for the Dodgers. Here comes Paul Canerco. He home it in the very first inning for his fourth. And he's grounded out and twice since then. And here comes the pitch by Madison Bumpgarner. Madison started uh, finishing off strongly now. 4-6. 4-6 uh, from the right side. And that's going to be a... Swing, no, yeah, swing and a miss. He went around. The first base umpire says you went around. And that is another strikeout for Madison. That's nine already. Two down. And it's going to be J.J. Hardy. J.J. is 0 for 3 in the game. Madison looks in and gets a sign by Molina. That'll count, subject to change. 
And it does not. It's a 512. 512 from the right side. And that's going to be an X play down to Michael Young. At first, he is a 5 8. So he has to clear a 1 to 8 on the range play, or this ball is going into right field. Let's look at this uh, 20 die. It's a 17 for a G3 and an 8. And that's going to be a ground ball to Young. He'll take it himself, and that'll do it for the Brooklyn Dodgers here in the eighth. We're going to the ninth. The score remains. It is the Brooklyn Dodgers six, and the Seattle Pilots four. We'll be right back right after this. I'll tell you. This turned out to be a pretty good game. Yep, that's about right. An hour and 40 minutes. All right, uh, maybe a little less than that because I was playing around. All right, anyway, we go to the bottom, uh, no, the top of the ninth. And, of course, Madison Bumpgarn is done for the day. And it'll be uh, Yadia Molina. My, my, uh, my throat is dry right now. I didn't bring anything to drink. And Yadali, Yadia will lead it off here in the ninth inning for the Seattle Pilots. He is 0 for 3 in the game. Carlos Lomano is still on the mound. And here we go. Are we going to have any ninth inning magic for the Seattle Pilots? As RJL would be saying when he does his games. So here we go. Mano. Delivers a 6-4. Six 6-4 four. Six four on the right side. 6-4 is an X play to the shortstop. That's going to be Hardy. 1-7 on the range. And that's a 7. So that goes G1. 5-6. No error. And that is the first down. Score it a 6-3. Here in the ninth inning. One down. One away, and here comes Troy Tulowitzki. He is two for three in the game. He home, home it in the second inning for his first of the year. It's about time, Troy. One down. He's batting from the right side. Carlos needs two more outs, and the Brooklyn Dodgers will win their 18th game of the year. And here comes the delivery from Carlos Mano, one to five. And one five from the right side, and that's tapped. Right back to Mano. He races over towards first base. Canerco, he flips it, and that's a one to three. Put out two outs, and now the Seattle Pilots are down to their last out. And here comes uh, Kendra Morales. Morales is two for three. He home it his last at bat, and he needs to get on base. The fans are on their feet here in Milwaukee as the Brooklyn Dodgers. Host the Seattle Pilots. Mano looks in, gets the sign by Buster Posey. Delivers. The drop is a 1 7. 1 7 from the right side. Does he keep it alive? He does not. Ground ball to short. Picked up by Hardy. He fires the first, and the ball game's over. The Brooklyn Dodgers win here in Milwaukee of a score of 6 to 4. And that'll do it for today's game. So let's give a quick recap. It's going to be uh, the Brooklyn Dodgers. Six runs, six hits, no errors. For the Seattle Pilots, it will be four runs, six hits, and two errors. The winning pitcher will be Chris Sales. The loser will be Madison Bumpgarner. Uh, if you're around tonight, around 10:15, I got my Saturday night at the ballpark video coming up uh, between the uh, Chicago Cubs and the Los Angeles Dodgers from Wrigley Field in Chicago. Hope you stay. Hope you stay around for that one. It's uh, Jake my, uh Arietta against uh, Grenke, both under two, both under two ERA. Earn run average, uh, I don't have the stats in front of me, but that will be happening around 10-15 tonight. Until then, this one's over. The Seattle Pilots 
Blues to the Brooklyn Dodgers, 6-4. to four. Uh, I hope to see you later on tonight. So long, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.